I'm not gonna play the intro for you guys. Welcome everybody to the 64th Gamers Walkthrough of Banjo Kazooie. I'm obviously the 64th Gamer, and the point of this walkthrough is to show you how to obviously beat this game. If you don't know what a walkthrough is, then don't watch this video. But most of you should know what a walkthrough is. What a walkthrough is. Is basically a, a video series on how to guide you through an entire video game. And do keep in mind, Game 2 was accidentally my first file on Natural 64, and yeah, I'm gonna erase my third file since it doesn't really mean important, anything important to me. None of these files do. So I'm just gonna start in Game 3 because I feel like it. And you can't skip that cutscene. I just did, but you, if it's like your first file, then you can't skip it, which kind of sucks. And it's Mr. Worthless. Yeah, they call him bottles. Better you can't goggle. <laughs> what did? He? Yeah, yeah. The ugly was from Tilda stole to the, and now Banjo and Kazooie must stop Gratilda. And save 2D, obviously. And basic moves, you press A, just press B. Yeah, the tutorial is just basically worthless. And you're going to, like, have to, like, travel through the entire Spiral Mountain just, like, learning new moves. But I'm pretty sure you'll probably figure out, like, the first time you, like, play through this game. It's worthless, just the tutorial. And what we just picked up was an extra life. And pick them up. They'll give you extra lives. And if you run down to zero, to zero, or if you die on the zero fly, then you get a game over screen, which does not erase your game. There's no continue screen or any crap like that. And there's the first major item of the game, the empty honeycomb. There are 24 of these, which normally there would be two on each level, but in Spiral Mountain's case, there are six. And another one right here. And, I mean, I strongly recommend, like, getting all six empty honeycombs here in Spiral Mountain. It'll just, like, help you be more prepared for what's coming up ahead. Third one, behind the waterfalls, an extra life. Number five, which technically it's six, but. And this is the underwater system. You have six bubbles, run down to zero, and it'll cost you a life. But the underwater system does work a little bit different in Banjo Chewy, which is Banjo Kazooie's sequel. And what we picked up was a honeycomb, which restores your health, but I was already at full health, but I've just felt like showing it off early. And underwater here, we got the fourth one. So that's four. Scaled water. And then we come over here to these, like, four mist like rocks that are completely useless and will waste your time 100% guaranteed. But they do give you an empty honeycomb once you destroy a royal four of them. Any up here, we got the last one. After we destroy him. Goodbye. And after you collect six, you now have six hit points. But six more to reach seven hit points. I like stupid like thing. Let's head up to the top of Spiral Mountain. And by the way, 
Spiral Mountain has my 10th favorite tune in the entire game. And here I try like one of the speedrun technique that most people do, but I just felt like not doing it. Because I knew it'd waste my time. And another TS trick like BAA. And heading up to the top. We got Mr. Worthless telling us that we need to head into the witch's lair. But if you do follow the tutorial, um, you do have to like learn all the moves by by on by yourself. But if you like don't take the tutorial, you do get all your moves all by yourself by default. And just a cutscene. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see. We'll see who wins. Hey, it's me, Mr. JD. Now go and find a picture with a beast missing. And this is like the most important item in the game. The JD. There will be a hundred of these. And you need 94 to beat the game. Which means you have to get like nine, at least 94%. Of this game complete and heading here to enter the world shown on the picture you must fill in the space with the jigsaw pieces we got the first jigsaw piece called a boy and then we fill it in pressing a obviously and do keep in mind that this file is being played on an actual nintendo 64 and there's the door to Mumbles Mountain. Now we enter. And Gruntilda like teasing us. But who cares about Gruntilda? Gruntilda sucks anyways. Well not really. Well Gruntilda's like infamous for like her constant rhyming. Me Mumbo Tokyo used for Mumbo Magic. Yeah, Pete, you saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiddy. And on the like, menu, they do call the Jiddies Jigsaws, but it's actually supposed to be called Jiddies. So what is its actual name? Grab your snoot. And I know I missed one. Starting to take effect is the air system. Stay underwater too long and it'll cost you a life. No, really. It will cost you a life if you stay down there too long. And you never want to lose lives. And what we just, just got hit by was Big Bug. And we got that Honey Hive. It will give you three hit points. But I recommend leaving some. To like, so that you that you have them there for the future. Yeah, save some if you're at full health. It'll like save your life. Let's go ahead and grab this G. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. And that's like that like pad with Banjo and Kazooie's head on it, obviously. Hello, Mr. Worthless. Town Trot will send Kazooie. Well, ba just basically let Kazooie do the walking or running, whatever. And let's go ahead and grab these, which is the ammo. As the blue eggs will explain, word eggs, because we can learn to use us as ammo. Obviously, if we didn't have ammo, we'd pretty much be screwed. You don't even need ammo for this game. And level mumble token. It's two. And a lot of good stuff over here. Jinjo. Here, I'll get that moment. There's already the fourth ginger, like already the fourth. If you collect all five, they do give you a GD. 
and five of them will be in the same color every level. Let's get these notes over here. We'll make 64. 64 notes. I don't feel like going over there just yet. I'm saving it for a specific reason. Coming over here. I can talk to Mr. Warpless again. I call this the Beat Buster. Jump into the air and proceed. And yeah, cool. I don't like the sound of that banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. <laughs> Nest Girl. I do believe Kazooie is female. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Kazooie's a female. It's nice to grab everything. Number hut. Destroy each of these. Don't give me different items. Like blue eggs. So we make eight, the nine, the ten. Got bubble token over here. And another one. I don't feel like destroying it yet. And this is the last of the two Joes for this level. Already. And this will make two JDs for this level. Oh, that's it. You've asked for it. Bring it on. That makes six. And here's the JD for the smashing all six of these huts. It would have been horrible if people were living in it. I mean, we'd like be murdering them. That would be like so horrible if we like actually like murder them. But there's no, but there isn't murder in this level. Well, at least I don't think so. And be careful not to get hit by big butt. And that, like, like Monkey Ape, whoever he is, is, I think his name is Conga. Conga or Conga. Um, not Con. Ah, no. And him smashing all three of his pads will earn you a JD. That makes four. And steals orange. And crap. Yeah, just if the chimpy is orange. Yeah, chimpy likes oranges. And pretty much everything's like alive in this game. Even the canyons and the walls are alive. Like they actually have like invisible eyes. Like the blue eggs, musical notes, jiggies. I mean just Everything like has invisible mouse and eyes. I don't know how, but it's true. Alright, and this is the last moves here. Yeah. That's that's who you are, Mr. Worthless. A be beetle breath. Come on, shut up already. Yeah, it does sound painful. And you can have a maximum of a hundred eggs, and he'll give you fifty. Hmm, your energy is, and he will restore your health. Don't need to overreact, Beetle Breath. Jeez. Mumble token. Now I'm smashed into the space. It's obliteration. And there's the GD. And. Smashing Gruntilla's face will make JD's appear in her lair. And that's all I'll be doing for this part. See you guys in part number two. Goodbye.